Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's No Cash Clash. Well, okay, it's your host, Galadon. It's the 238th installment of No Cash Clash. Excited to bring the series back to the channel. I know you guys have been waiting for it. And yes, the upgrades are long, but today, so many upgrades at once, so many builders free. And yes, right now, the lab and the giants are getting upgraded. And speaking of, if you want to upgrade your YouTube feed, make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and be prepared for the earliest and most accurate update information, leaving a comment and a like whenever you see fit or to help out the YouTube algorithm. Check it out, four builders free. It's a disaster, Galadon. What are you going to do? You only have 10 million gold. Well, that's right. It's finally gonna be that time that we get some of these collectors upgraded. So this is going to, of course, tie up four builders for six days. But we'll be back covering well over two weeks footage in one episode. That's right, giving you the action all combined and jam packed into one eight to 10 minute episode. Okay, so yes, as you can see, the raids are always ongoing, picking up the big loot. And of course, also every now and then getting the brand new loot record for No Cash Clash. That's right, finally. This was nearly 3 million in loot. This was the biggest base we've seen, but that is to be expected as we move up through the town halls. Just like to be expected is me mentioning, uh, use code Galadon, right? You knew it was coming, but thank you guys so much, by the way. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to remind you to use code Galadon right now. I'm not going to tell you about that little C in the shop. I'm going to say thank you. Okay, those of you that are doing it, I love you guys. You guys keep the channel rolling and it is sincerely appreciated. All right, so yes, in the middle of the town hall, last building to go down. Beautiful, perfectly placed invisibility spell, Galadon. Thank you, Galadon. You're welcome, Galadon. Well done, Galadon. Yes, okay. So three-starring the loot and yes, we are going to go ahead and roll a few more sneaky goblins out here just for those people that say technically I'm not three-starring the loot unless I get the full league bonus. There you go. Check it out. Total loot, well over 3 million. Okay, time for another upgrade, and this time we're going to do a Mortar. Mortar? Mortar. I think Peter calls them Mortars, but anyway, on its way to level 13 is the Mortar. Getting it on over to the completed side. Thank goodness uh, those are on their way. Now, this is the beginning, the end, April season, right? And this is not so exciting for us free-to-play players, right? Because that, I mean, yeah, it's pretty underwhelming, especially if you've played an account that has the gold pass. It is crazy how much you get done at the end of every month with the gold pass season bank. For us, yeah, a couple of measly walls, and then, well, it looks like we're probably going to do the Grand Warden here. He's on his way to level 48, so that feels good. Although, again, that's behind the pace that gold pass Clash is doing right now. I believe gold pass already has both the Queen and the Grand Warden maxed out for Town Hall 13. See, there you go. Six days later, the builders are done with the Elixir Collectors, and now we run into a similar problem. Too many builders, not enough loot, but this time, what the plan is, is to drop, yes, the Royal Champion on her way to level 15, and then we'll just do a couple of collectors. And this way, you are freeing up more and more builders and not just tying them all up on the same collectors every single week so wait a minute okay there we go and then another gold mine and actually you know what let's do just one more gold mine for this elixir and then we'll get out we'll do a little bit of raiding we will get ourselves enough gold so that we can do a significant upgrade there it is quick one couple million no problem very easy just standard stuff flipping the page back to the home village and now we've done a hidden tesla we've done a wizard tower we've done an archer tower let's pop on over and start one of the cannons on its way to level 18. So many defensive upgrades to happen here at Town Hall 13. Yes, the bomb towers and of course the archer towers and then the much ignored and maligned bombs traps. Yeah, we'll get there uh, eventually. Okay, what else is going on? Yes, oh, we are finding ourselves slightly overmatched almost every single CWL. Uh, I get these Town Hall 14s as my mirror. So we got to get in there and pick up the two star. Now you might've seen in other episodes recently how easy it is 
to two star a Town Hall 13 or 14, even if you are a Town Hall lower, with nothing more than sneaky goblins and a few good, well-placed spells. And yes, I prefer to bring the super wall breakers, but that is totally at your discretion. So yes, this raid's gonna go well. We're gonna pick up the two star against the Town Hall 14. But if I don't show you the whole raid, then this video won't even be eight minutes long. And of course, you know what that means. Yes, you guys would be disappointed that you don't at least get to spend eight minutes with Galadon. Is that the real reason? Well, that's, that's part of the reason. The other part is the fact that, you know, then we can't put those annoying ads in the middle of the videos, which also help the channel survive. So, you know, you guys that are watching the ads, by the way, thank you so much. And especially those that are binge watching the playlists of both No Cash and Gold Pass Clash. So many episodes to watch, so many ads to sit through, right? Right? Yeah, that's right. It's a beautiful way that you, the viewer, can help out the average everyday YouTube content creator without costing yourself a penny, right? Except for, I know, your very valuable time. And I'll understand if you click skip ads. But nonetheless, thank you guys that are coming by. We're just about to wrap this one up. Got to get in there and get that town hall down. And then we got to get out there and make sure we have all of the loot bearing buildings. Remember, that's always going to be the key here is the town hall and the clan castle out of the way. You'll notice the CC is centered. So we have to get that clan castle first and then we can use our sneaky goblins to clean up the rest on the outsides, wiping out individual buildings. So there goes your town hall. Now the issue is, yeah, the clan castle. Now we don't bring a poison spell for the defensive clan castle, but watch the log launcher action right here as it is going to absolutely annihilate most of these witch generated skeletons as they come towards my heroes. This was pretty cool. So the log launcher acts kind of like a poison spell. I mean, look at it clear the way. Absolutely just vaporizes everybody who needs poison when you've got a log launcher. Now, of course, this is also going to give us much needed percentage points, getting us closer to 50%. We send in the sneaky gobbos with a rage spell to get in through the wall because we didn't have another jump spell. And uh, yeah, so it took us a few extra to get there, but we are going to get there. And this means finally, the clan castle is about to go down with an absolutely flawless invisibility spell. Once again, Galadon, thank you, Galadon. You're welcome, Galadon. And now the sneaky goblins ring the outside of the base, destroying individual structures. Defenses doesn't matter one percentage point at a time in the final seconds. Oh, we grab the second star and we can finally be a little bit relieved that at least we did that. You know, with heroes down, it's much, much more difficult to pick up a three star, even against your own town hall level. So let's move on. Status report. No Cash Clash, episode 238, yeah. trophies are rising, as are the number of gems. We're just not spending them. I'm being very frugal about Whoa. my gems. Picked up another 100 today. The hero levels continue to rise today. Only the ah. Grand Warden and the Royal Champion saw new levels. I am streaming every single day except for Saturday on fb.gg slash Gaming. Come ask me a question or just hang out. My next goals Whoa. are to get back on the grind and into the groove for No Cash Clash, just like you guys were making it all the way to the end of the episode. Galifam, love you. Think about you. Appreciate you. Every single moment of every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week one, the near kind of the people. I'm supply. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. We'll talk. Galadon, did you know the people at the end of your videos are not Galifam? They're dollies. They want Peter $17. Hmm.